Hello beautiful friends my name is Brittany welcome back or welcome to Rescues and Reads. Today I have the December unboxing for the Authentic Books Box subscription service. Let's jump right in. <laughs> During Bookmas, I did an unboxing for the very first box that I received from this service. It was November's box and I have a full video of the unboxing and I will be sure to link that up in the cards for you if you want to check it out because I do explain more about this box and what they offer and why I think I'm going to like it so much. I did also receive a special edition holiday box in December that I unboxed in one of my vlogs and so far I have really enjoyed what I have received so far and perhaps my favorite things about this box are first of all that you get to choose the book so it's never a surprise and you're never going to receive a book that you don't want and so now Naturally, if you don't want any of the books, you are welcome to go ahead and skip a month, which is a fantastic service. And then also the items in this box are all usable and they are all kind of geared towards your five senses and self-care. So I love the usability of the products in here. A disclaimer that I have given in my other videos is that this box is not guaranteed vegan. I am a vegan and so if there are any products or treats in here that I cannot eat or use, I will be happy to pass them along. But from what I have seen so far, this box does seem to take a lot of care with regard to sustainability, eco-friendliness a lot of the products that they offer even if they're not vegan they are cruelty free they are placed in sustainable packaging and things of that nature so that is one reason why I'm happy to support this box and additionally I believe it's five percent of their profits go to children's educational funds so overall this just seems like a box that is trying to do good and like I said I love the fact that you are not getting products that are just going to sit around cluttering your home so we're going to go ahead and do the December unboxing today there will not be an unboxing of this in February because I skipped January's box the books that they were offering were either either books that I was not interested in or that I actually already had and so I didn't want to bother with it. So the next unboxing for this will be in March but if you are interested in checking this out for yourself I will leave a link down below. I am not affiliated with them in any way. I just love what they are doing and so far I've really enjoyed the boxes. So let's see if I feel the same about this one. So I haven't actually opened the box yet. I've just untaped it and so this is what we have inside. I'm just going to set it down and we'll go through it item by item. So as I mentioned, I do get to choose the book. So I know what book is inside. So first we have the bookmark. A bookmark comes in every single box that you receive and it's always based on the book. I love the design of this. The quote says, now with Jay gone forever, I don't know how I'll carry on, how I'll keep my demons at bay. And then here is the little brochure that comes about the box and the items inside. And then of course, this is the book that I'm getting All the Dark Places by Terry Peralto. As usual, we are going to start with the candle. Authentic Book Box, I believe, makes all of these candles themselves. This is the candle. It is a very, very dark brown. It is called Raybridge Estates and it is spiced woods. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. I love spicy earthy scents. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So I'm actually getting hints of freshness in here, like not necessarily spicy, but also fresh. One thing about these candles is that they are very lightly scented. So if you are very sensitive to scents, you may really enjoy these candles. I personally would prefer a little bit more of a robust scent profile because every single time I smell these candles, I, I can't quite picture what I'm getting. It's very, very light. Like I said, very clean. I'm not getting necessarily the spice or the muskiness I would expect in this, but it's still a very pleasant scent. I think it's the favorite one that I've gotten so far. And then for taste, I got coffee. This is Sunday morning's sticky toffee. Now coffee from this brand was actually included in the very first box that I received so the November box so right off the bat I'm seeing some repetition I don't know how often that is going to be in the box but this is only the second monthly box that I received and already the brands are being repeated so I'm not necessarily quite sure how I feel about that I'm hoping for a little bit more variety in future boxes but let me go ahead and open this and get a little sniff okay oh that's nice it's coffee, but with a hint of sweetness. So there's going to be like a hint of that toffee flavor in here. Mm, not bad. It says 100% ground gourmet Colombian beans infused with rich butter toffee with decadent chocolate. I don't know if that's a typo. Decadent? Decadent? Not sure. Uh, that's also another thing that I've noticed in the very first box that I got from them. Their brochure had quite a few typos in it. And this looks like this might be like a typo. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if that's a typo. If decadent is, is what they meant, I'm not entirely sure, but they could definitely use a proofreader for sure. And then the first touch item. So the first real self-care item is petty in a box. This comes with a sea salt soak, a sugar scrub, a mud mask, and massage butter. It is vegan and cruelty free. So this is awesome, but this again is also very similar to an item that I received in that November box. So we received this whole petty in a box. It was like a five-step system and it was lovely, but this is like possibly a different brand. I'm not entirely sure, but it's like almost exactly the same thing. So between the candle, the coffee, and this, I'm receiving basically the same exact box that I received in November. Oh, and next, this is actually cute. It says affirmation coloring book. I am enough. Okay, that is sweet. Attitude is the difference between an ordeal and an adventure. No one can be you and that is your power. 
Oh my gosh, that is so, so cute. I am not my mistakes. I am confident in my ability to blank. Not everything needs to be instant. So this is actually really, really cute. Personally, I'm not a big colorer. I find coloring stressful unless it's color by number. Like you have to tell me what colors go where, but I actually really, really like this. And I might stick this in a pango order. So when somebody orders a pango book from me, I might go ahead and just like stick this in there as a little treat because I think somebody would get a, a really big enjoyment out of this, but I love this edition. All right, so that does it for the items in the box. Now onto the book which as I mentioned All the Dark Places by Terry Peralto. I don't really know anything about this other than it is a thriller so I'm just going to read it real quick. I do have a signature card in here and then an author's note. It says snow falls softly outside Molly Bradley's home on a frigid January night. Inside half a dozen close friends are gathered to celebrate the 40th birthday of Molly's psychologist husband Jay. Everybody loves Jay, Molly most of all, yet next morning Molly discovers Jay dead on the floor of his office, his throat brutally slashed. After decades working with the Boston PD, Detective Rita Myers has grown accustomed to the banality of evil, the murders that make no sense beyond bad luck or a tragic brush with the worst of humanity. But Jay Bradley's murder isn't random or a mere crime of opportunity. Rita is convinced that someone in the couple's small circle killed him, someone who was celebrating with them that night. Devastated, Molly tries to make sense of her husband's death. Jay was her rock, the only person who really understood the nightmare she lived through long ago. He knew the horror she kept hidden even from her friends, but shocking revelations are making her question if Jay was all he seemed to be and whether someone else knows her past too. And until Molly figures out who she can really trust, she won't be able to stop herself from becoming the next target. Overall, the synopsis sound intriguing to me. Not necessarily anything mind-blowing. You have a dead husband who was at a party with a bunch of people who could have killed him. So there's possibly a locked room aspect to this story where basically everybody in here is suspects and you have no idea who it could possibly be, but there's only like a limited pool of suspects. So we're going to see. But like I said, I was intrigued enough by the synopsis of this book to want to go ahead and give it a try. I have never heard of Terry Peralto before. This would be my very first book by her. And so we will definitely see how this goes. I will absolutely be adding it to my January or my February TBR. And then let me go ahead and read through this here. So with regard to the can, it says it has notes of toasted coconut and sweet dark honey. So that's probably the sweetness that I got. Although this is another example of proof editing because it's calling the name of this candle till the wheels fall off. But yet the candle itself says it's Graybridge Estates. That is definitely something that they should look into because it is unprofessional to have so many typos. Just in my opinion, as somebody who like very fastidious with grammar and things like that and is absolutely horrified when she has a typo in an email, that bugs me. Um, okay, it does also do a Spotify playlist that goes along with the book. So the bar code for that is in here. It does give you a recipe for a book cocktail in here. And this time it is the classic hot toddy. And then it also gives you a recipe. Looks like they're little winter shortbread cookies. So that's cool. And then on the back here, it does give you a little bit more information about what you could have received. So if you did get the cocktail box, you would have gotten that hot toddy mix to go with the cocktail. If you got the tea, you would have gotten organic classic breakfast tea. If you had the top tier subscription, you would have also gotten a key tag that says, thank you for being a friend. And you would have also gotten a second taste item, which would have been cookies and cream Oreo cookie chocolate bar. So overall, this definitely wasn't the strongest simply because of the repetition. That's not to say that the items aren't good or high quality, but I do feel like I just got a duplicate box of what I had gotten in November. I definitely do plan on continuing with the box to see kind of what I receive going down the line. I do, like I said, I really do like their overall purpose. I do love the fact that we can choose the book. I love the fact that the items are usable and that they're not really going to go to waste. So there are a bunch of things about this box that I really appreciate and I haven't yet found a box like that. A lot of the boxes that I found in the past, they're just sending you a lot of stuff that's not necessarily well made and that's going to break or it's just going to clutter your space and you don't really need that. They're all knickknacks. A lot of the boxes also you cannot choose your book so you don't know what's coming. You don't know if you're going to want to read it or not. So there's a lot less waste I feel associated with this box which I really love but I am hoping for a little bit more variety in in future boxes. So like I said, we are going to see and I do have the ability to skip boxes if the books don't intrigue me. So again, that's less waste because I'm not going to be getting books that I don't want to read. I will be doing unboxings of these on my channel as I get the boxes. And then if I don't feel like these are serving me, I will no longer do the subscription. All right, y'all, that is it. That was December's unboxing of the Authentic Books box subscription service. Please comment down below and let me know if you have the subscription service or what you think so far of my unboxings. Please also let me know what some of your favorite bookish subscription services are. I would love to know. I'm always on the lookout for ones that I might enjoy. Although so far I have yet to find a perfect one for me. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, because I would sure love to see you in my next video. Bye guys.